And so on this first EVA, Butch Wilmore is going to be EV1, and he'll egress the airlock first, wearing the suit with the red stripes. And he'll bring out a large bundle consisting of the Ida cable bag and a crew lock bag, and then Terry will egress with the pure white suit and carrying an identical large bundle, which will translate up the Cetus Spur and over to the port Xena side of the Destiny Lab and then to the forward end cone of the Harmony node. And that, of course, is using the handrail path you see blinking there. Meanwhile, Terry will translate around the perimeter of external stowage platform number two and along the starboard side of Destiny and Harmony to the forward end cone. And once there, both crew members will stow their crew lock bags. And the Ida cable bags uh, near the work site. And they'll then spend some time installing wire tie restraints uh, on the PMA2 along the routes that the cables will follow throughout the rest of the EVA. And you can see in this uh, video from the training in the neutral buoyancy lab, they're wrapping wire ties around uh, handrails and different things that we can then use to restrain the cables. Uh, finally, Butch will move some of the existing PMA2 cabling to get it out of the way uh, for removal of the first shield. You can see that it's routed across the shield that we need to open. So Butch and Terry will work together to release the three bolts holding the port shield in place and move it out of the way. And Terry will open the port Ida cable bag. Butch will disconnect the four existing cables under the shield, which previously provided services for the space shuttle and still do provide the heater power for PMA2. One by one, Terry will hand him four new Ida cables to connect. And on this graphic here, you can see on the left side is the current configuration with cir red circles around the four that uh, Butch will disconnect. And on the right side, you can see the four new Ida cables connected with the light blue and the dark blue cables are actually routed underneath the handrails um, and the other two are routed past the handrails. And in that way, the cables actually fit into gaps on either side of the handrail so they can exit from underneath the shield. So once all four cables have been connected, the crew will reinstall the shield and then translate to the other side where they will swap roles. Butch will open the cable bag. They'll work together to open the shield. Terry will disconnect the existing cable and Butch will hand him the new Ida cable to connect. And then they'll reinstall that shield. And before leaving the starboard cable bag, Butch will retrieve a cable from it and bring it to the port side of Harmony where he'll attach it to a handrail and begin uncoiling it. He'll first follow the uh, handrail path you see highlighted in yellow uh, to unroll, unroll the cable aft towards the Destiny Lab where he'll make two connections. And then he'll come back forward and stow a leg uh, that will ultimately go up PMA3 towards Ida number two later on. And finally, he'll take the remaining leg and uncoil it as he moves forward, securing the cable in the wire ties that were installed at the beginning of the EVA. And the remaining coil of cable will be stowed on PMA2 until Ida 1 arrives. And that's the longest of the, the cables on the EVA. Meanwhile, Terry will begin unpacking and routing cables from the port cable bag, starting with the two cables that restore power and telemetry for the PMA2 heaters. And he'll be making the two connections that you see there labeled as P1 and P2. Now each of these two cables has a leg that continues forward uh, towards the forward end of PMA2. One of them goes zenith, and one goes nadir. And these are stowed near those locations I pointed out earlier where the connector panels will eventually be. So for the remainder of the EVA, Butch will deploy the cables that follow uh, the port nadir route, and Terry will deploy cables that follow a zenith or starboard path. And you'll see that we just continue stowing the cables on the PMA near where those connector panels will be. And they, they tend to follow sort of highways. And so that's the route that we put the wire ties on at the beginning of the EVA. Uh, 
The final set of cables that Butch will stow are three legs that will ultimately go to item number two. And uh, once we have those stowed, that will empty out the port cable bag. And during that time, Terry finishes his last cable on the starboard side. And that cable has an Ida one leg and an Ida two leg that gets stowed on the node two forward end cone. At this point, there will be uh, two cables remaining in the starboard cable bag, which will be deployed on the second EVA. The crew will pack up their crew lock bags and the port Ida cable bag. We'll leave the starboard Ida cable bag there with those two cables in it. And the crew will follow their original translation path back to the airlock. Uh, if we are ahead on the timeline on this day, we will uh, go ahead and, and uh, finish as much of the cable routing as time allows. And that, so that's our only get ahead for this EVA.